Today's cancer myth buster is that tumor surgery spreads cancer. This is uh, something that I hear quite a bit. I've seen a lot of women um, with large uh, tumors growing in their body. Uh, most of the time, it's typically a breast cancer tumor. And it, it starts off with a small lump. And then they say, well, I read somewhere that if I get surgery done, it may cause seeding or spreading of the cancer. And so I don't want to get any surgery done. And um, as they you know, try different things, the tumor continues to grow. And then eventually they pass away from that tumor because they realized too late that all the strategies they were trying were never going to work. So what we did at Causenta is we studied all these people that basically said, I want a surgery done or I don't want surgery done. And what I could tell you very emphatically is the people that had surgery done, most of them are alive today. So there really isn't um, any comparison in my mind, but I do want to kind of clarify for people you know, what are they reading versus like actually what would get done by a surgeon? So first, if you see a surgical oncologist, they're not just going to cut you open and start, you know, randomly doing stuff. Most surgeons kind of review the PET scan data or maybe some other data. It could be an MRI or a CT scan. And they're typically going to do the surgery in a way where they're going to cut around the tumor tissue. So they're going to cut the healthy tissue. So that way they're not going through the cancer or through the tumor in a way that it can be spread. But many times what I've seen when, when there's been really successful outcomes is that we could do therapies on people. So we could have um, exercise regimens and some other therapies that they can do while they're doing low dose chemo or some other type of therapy and shrink the tumor. So that now when a surgeon goes in, it's, it's a lot easier to come out. Think of it as, um, well, it's not exactly what happens. Think of it in this way. Imagine you had a ball within a ball. And at first, the inside ball is touching the inside of the outer ball. But now what happens is the inside ball shrinks. And now there's all this space between that ball and the, the ball that's encasing it. And now what happens is it's a simple procedure to remove that ball from within the one ball and now you don't have any tissue that is being cut into you just remove the whole ball as one mass and most people don't think of that when they read stuff online they just hear that oh a scalpel went through the tumor and some cancer proteins or cancer cell fragments were spread throughout the tissue and getting into the blood supply and then traveling around the body and what I can share with you is we've got numerous cases now where you don't see that at all. One is because the um, tumor itself is shrinking to the point that the doctor, the surgical oncologist, um, doesn't have to go through the tissue at all. They could just kind of remove it um, without damaging it. And so then there's minimal likelihood of that tissue uh, spreading around the body. So I hope this was informative to you and hopes it gives you some dim different insight. Um, like any other topic pertaining to cancer, if you have questions, please feel free to contact us and we can review the information you have and give you some ideas that you may not have been exposed to previously. And I'll tell you that most people that contact us, they move forward and they move forward because they say, wow, no one has taken the time to go through all this information with such articulate detail and explain it to me in a way that makes perfect sense now that I'm hearing it. Have a great day.